on my solar sizer, I step up, I, don't, I feel like it's ready to receive me. It doesn't give in, I'm not trying to catch my balance or anything else like that. But when I sit here and I do the baby bounce, like I'm staying really close to the mat. I don't feel like um, this is an effective. If I do this long enough, I'm like, um, this honestly feels um, more gentle and more effective. But the other thing is, is so if I start getting into, and do you hear, I mean, I very little creaking, very little creaking. And this is straight from seller size, by the way, straight from the company. I haven't oiled it at all. Um, and I think moisture, humidity, weather, all that stuff can affect it. So for bungees to be the claim to fame because of no squeaking, negative wrong answer so but if I'm bouncing here I get a faster bounce which means my heart rate is still going but it's still catching me I don't feel the jarring that people that are claiming that this will give them but on top of that I'm feeling the tension on my muscles I feel like my muscles are getting activated way more than the balacon could ever do so in ski patrol, like I've got boom, boom, all of the things that I can do and I feel true activation in my muscles. So this is a lot more weight bearing and effective for building your trophy body for one. Now the other one, that would be fun if you want an indoor trampoline experience rebounding for health um, and fitness. I am so glad that this is the, the real decision that I made. That's the experimental decision I made because originally I was gonna go with that or leaps and rebounds, but their customer service, like that's a whole different story. And right. jump sport I already tried. At the same time I tried this and returned it. Changing the bungees was a terrible experience trying to get the right tension between my mom and I. And I'm just like, no, um, this is a no brainer. Plus the portability, the price point and not having to replace anything. Um, and what it's doing for my body. If I did this on the Valicon, I wouldn't feel so secure. I would have to probably do this and stay real close to the mat, even though I feel like my balance is pretty good. This has more resistance for running, hands down. Bellicon, not so much. So anyway, for what it's worth, there is in person in our IJI tribe side-by-side -side comparison. Good morning, everybody. Um, as you can see, I picked up a used Bellicon. Um, it is the 44 inch frame. It does have a um, stability bar that I can put in here and it's actually in my truck. I'm not gonna attach it because I'm not gonna use it. I just really want to show everybody like truly the difference between the seller size bounce and the Bellicon bounce and why seller sizer is better. So, um, Anyway, let me get around this. So, when I first stepped onto it, I'm like, all right, um, I had to catch my balance. It's not ready to receive me, if you will. It's a higher step up, which isn't a big deal for me, but it's not a preferred option. And for most people, it will cause you to shift off balance. But if I were to try to do the health bounce, I'm not even staying a whole lot lower than that. I'm not going to get as many bounces per minute as the seller sizer even can, like, can, it, the seller sizer destroys this. So, but if I were to, let's just say, um, oh, Jamba Walk. Okay, this is fine. I'm not feeling nearly the resistance that my seller sizer offers. So, um, what else can I show you that you, I don't know if you can see, there's no coning, but if I get any 
large one. If I were to jump on this um, for any cardio, okay, great. I'm suspended longer in the air. And this has more of the rebounder feel that a kid's trampoline would have. But I feel like I'm suspended for so long, I can't get even like an off balance, a ski patrol if I wanted to, the way that I can on my solar sizer. So, and I'll do some of the same things on my solar sizer just so you can see. But I mean, this is fun, but for twice the price, <laughs> I have a solar sizer makes zero sense. So, oh, and running, I'm like, it's, it feels so choppy. So there's just not enough resistance. I'd have to get really strong bands from them, which are $72 to replace them, just to be able to run the way that I can on Solar Sizer. Anyway, hope that helps.